Well, hello. It's another good day. And uh, we're going to pick up where we left off last time. And we're going to change the oil, tinker on this carb, see if we can take it for a test drive, kick the tires, rub the seat, and see what we have to work with. Um, nothing ever goes as planned, so got to keep that in mind. So stay with us and let's, uh, let's go play with this a little bit more. All right, all right, here's what I'm going with. I'm going with T4 10W30. This is what AutoZone had. I would like to do a Wix filter, but this is what AutoZone had, so I grabbed that. And online they say six quarts. So that's five, maybe, that's four. Huh, maybe I need one more. And this is close, 1540. So I better double check, but this is all going in here. Okay, I think that's, yeah, that's five. I think I might need another one. I'll check and see if I have one. I do not have another one, so when I go to the parts store, I'll grab that too. I'm going to check the dipstick here in a second and see what it's at, but that's five. Okay, I went to the parts store. I got uh, a new accelerator pump, diaphragm, Shell Rotella, and they didn't have 10W30, so I got 15W40, and I got a distributor and rotor kit. So, it's getting dark outside, or it's probably not dark. Ooh. So, I'm gonna still throw this on. <clears throat> Better close the door. I'm gonna throw this on and uh, try to knock this out. It's getting dark and it's gonna get super cold, but we got a few more minutes. But I wanna try to get some of this done tonight. So let's go do it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take this cap and rotor off. Just move it out of the way because we're going to, let's see if I can pull it out. We're going to, we're going to try once again. This is my third, believe it or not, accelerator pump diaphragm. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. But we're going to put that on real quick. Then we'll change the cap and rotor. And I need some better lighting. Try this. Yeah, this is better. Okay, I'm going to try to be super careful with this. And hope this one doesn't leak. The others have leaked. Oh, this worries me. That thing stripped out. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna have to pause on that. Let's uh, swap this cap and rotor out. These don't want to come out. That's not a good sign. Oh, that one broke. He's just getting better. Always something, huh? Yeah, there. Kind of stuck down in there. I'm losing track of these things. Oh, that one came off too. 
those are jammed in there. Well, good morning. It's 8 o'clock Saturday morning. I've been stewing over that stripped accelerator pump bolt all night. I don't know. So, I'm going to look in my garage and see if I can find a 6.30 seconds or 8.30 seconds is what the forum said that that bolt is. So, I need to, I need to find what uh, size threads that is and pitch. And I looked online for a 6.30 seconds helicoil kit. The only place I could find one is Amazon or eBay. None of the local parts stores seem to have it, but I might take this bolt down to AutoZone or one of the parts stores and see if they have something that could fit it, because I'd like to get that fixed today. Anyway, I'm gonna look through my little, little bin. I have just a few odds and ends and screws and bolts and see if I can find Something that can tell me whether this is a 6.30 seconds or not. So I'm going to go do that. Well, it turns out I don't have anything that I think can work. So I'm going to head down to the hardware store and see if I can find something for this little guy. See what pitch it is. And see if I can find a longer bolt. Longer bolt, maybe there's some threads at the back of that um, that I might be able to use. If not, I'll try a couple jerry riggers maybe put a zip tie just a piece of plastic in there tighten it up just tight enough so i can see if this thing runs after monkeying with it so off to the hardware store we go Okay, I checked AutoZone, they don't have a helicoil kit, but O'Reilly's does at the warehouse. So, um, they're gonna get one for me and somewhere around 3 p.m. they're gonna call me and we'll have a helicoil for this 8.30 second size bolt. It's 9.30 in the morning, so um, I got plenty of other things to do. I don't know about you guys, but I neglect a whole bunch of things when I'm working on these projects. So maybe I should do a few things besides, yeah, I'll probably find something on the Ford to work on. Anyway, let's, uh, I'll check back in when we get the helicoil. Well, I went down to O'Reilly and picked up the helicoil kit, but I also picked up earlier a little longer bolt. So I've jerry-rigged it for now and I want to see how it's running before I run out of daylight. So I'm going to throw that in there and see how this works. We'll put the distributor cap back on and then we'll see if we can fire it up and see how she runs. I'd like to take it down the road just, just a block or so to see how she's running after I monkeyed with everything. Let's clip this back on. No idea if it's gonna squirt gas. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Well, we're in the new green truck. This is my first time riding in it. Uh, the ride's pretty smooth. Doesn't sound very good. Got anything to say, Dad? Uh, it's doing okay, kinda. There's no padding, so it's really loud from down in there. Okay, go for it, go for it. You ready for this? Ready? Video. Go! Hey, it's doing pretty good. The timing's a little off. But we can roast the tires. 
Yeah. It'll roast those tires pretty easy in second gear. Okay, we just took it for a drive. It'll roast those tires easy. Timing's still a little off, but I'll probably wait for the Protronics ignition to mess with that. It's not leaking gas. Um, here's what it looks like out here. I don't even know if I've given the old walkthrough. Maybe we should walk through it real quick before it starts to rain. Okay, here's the truck. It's uh, green. It's been cut down. And it wasn't fully finished cut down, so the frame's still not completely welded. So I probably shouldn't have been romping on it. The bed's been cut down. It hasn't been completely finished yet. There's a bunch more places. Oh, back there. Back there. So we gotta finish that, finish the frame. Here's the back, what the back looks like. Bumper is in the back of the truck. Don't know if it still fits because uh, the back's have been cut off and the front, so don't know about that. And so it's a short bed, it was a long bed. <clears throat> it's a 390, so the 390 badges are still on there. And it's had some love taps on the front end, it looks like. Let's see inside. <coughs> Here's what the inside looks like. It's all original. Someone pulled out the carpet and the sound deadening. It was a three on the tree. That's what the factory stamp on the side shows. Someone put a four speed in it. And boy, it's loud. It is loud. Someone put a 80s seed in here. That sure looks like the original gas tank. Let's go over to the other side. No major rust that I can see. You know, just the typical floorboards and stuff <clears throat> windshields broken in a number of places someone uh, has put a few different types of mirrors on this thing here's the driver's side <clears throat> and like I say the glass is broken in a lot of places Original steering wheel. Um, no power steering. I think I've mentioned that before. The pump and stuff is there, but it's been disconnected. It's all been leaking, I guess. But, oh, the headliner has some issues. Looks like a mouse must have lived up in there and chewed its way out. And I don't know what that is. Is that mouse poop over there? I don't know. But overall, I think the bones are good. <clears throat> I have some trim and I have the original seat. So that's it. I think it's a good candidate to clean up a little bit and fix up. Old blue's up for sale. I know I've already mentioned that. <clears throat> Alrighty, that's it for now. Side note, looks like we have an antifreeze leak. Looks like it's coming off the hose down in there. So, looks like it might be originating from up here. Hopefully it's not the water pump, but something's, uh, something's up. Put that on the list to check out.